Hi, I'm Don Miller with CFR Performance and today we're going to show you how to install our 3911C kit which is everything you need for the front of a small block Chevy motor minus the timing cover and the harmonic balancer. This kit includes the chrome power steering pump, pulley, bracketry and all the hardware. This includes the chrome crank pulley, chrome water pump pulley with nose cone, again the hardware. It includes a chrome high volume aluminum water pump, a 120 amp one wire GM alternator. I like to start with the water pump when I'm installing this kit. The chrome water pump is very nice. I start with the two bolts that hold it on the passenger side and just kind of mock it up. With the water pump installed, you can then start with the uh, power steering pump. You will take the power steering pump and start with what I like to refer to as the J brackets. They will actually cradle the uh, power steering pump and support all the weight. You take the first J bracket, install it on the rear of the pump. The first one is the one with only two holes, and then you will install it with one nut and washer. Some pumps do not have the stud on the back side, you'll just use a bolt in place of the stud. And it just tightens on there and you'll tighten that particular nut. Then you reverse the pump, come to the front side. Now on the pump you will need to do make a minor modification right here in the casting. As you see this casting right here, when the adjuster bracket comes down, it can rub on that and not allow full adjustment. So you'll want to grind that down just a little bit. You'll take this bracket and bolt it on using two bolts with two washers stacked on it. Otherwise the bolts tend to bottom out. Then you take the third bolt that goes in the kit, merely slide it in, and you'll line up this adjuster bracket and thread it. What this ensures is that this bracket is going to be square and tight when you go to tighten it up. Then all you need to do is tighten this bolt here, and it will maintain its... Uh, proper location. Then just remove the bolt and we'll come back to the pump here in a moment. What you're going to need to do also is take a 3 8 drill bit, bit and on this little nub right here on the water pump you're going to simply drill it out so that the threads are removed. What that allows is for you to take your pump and it merely goes on, the bolt goes in, goes through, and hangs there. And then I tighten this bolt, just like that, so the pump can free float and move right there with no problem. Then with the adjuster bracket and two shims the bolts go in the bracket in the shim in the bracket in the shim and make sure that your longer bolt as you notice there actually is going to be one bolt that's a little bit longer than the other goes in the top hole. With these shims in place, then these simply bolt the water pump in place and you will simply
Notice I did not tighten it down, I just merely brought it to snug. You'll take the bolt for the adjuster. This will actually go in. Pick any position at the moment and tighten it down. And then you tighten the water pump. Your power steering pump is installed except for the pulley and you don't forget to tighten the other side of the pump. Now your pump is installed, your power steering pump is installed. We can then take the power steering pulley, remove the nut that comes on the pump. The keyway, due to different sizes, sometimes needs to be filed slightly. And then you line it up, and it should press right on. Put the nut in place. Simple as that. Now we'll move on to the alternator. You take the alternator bracket, the two short bolts that come with it, they ins it installs in the uh, water pump on the uh, traditional holes that are in it. You merely tighten them down. Take the alternator. Again, it's a 120 amp one wire. All it requires to wire this is from this probe right here. It needs to connect to the positive side of the battery or the positive of the starter, which is the other end of the same cable. You'll simply take this, the long bolt, insert it in the bracket, insert the alternator, the spacer supplied, and light, it lines up with the head. Sometimes if it's too close, you'll want to just back these out just a little bit allowing a little more wiggle room. This merely goes in and installs in the hole in the head. Snug those back down. The adjuster turnbuckle, you'll notice that it comes with one shoulder bolt that shoulder bolt installs in the alternator on the back side. And then the final bolt installs in the front of the water pump right there. And once again, snug it down and then snug down the one on the top. All of your adjustment is simply by backing off these two lock nuts and turning this. This will adjust the tension on your belt for the alternator. The adjustment on the power steering is as we saw. We'll take the crank pulley. It's a real simple installation. Take your three bolts merely starts on the harmonic damper. These I especially uh, can't stress enough install with uh, Loctite. You don't want your crank pulley coming off while you're driving down the road. And installed. I also would like to point out that this alternator, we already have installed the billet fan and pulley. That's really a straightforward process. You unbolt the steel pulley, remove the fan and pulley, and bolt the new one on. Next we have the water pump pulley, which goes on. You line it up with the, that. We include in the uh, chrome kit what we call the nose piece. It's designed for working with electric fans. If you're using a mechanical fan on the front of this, you will simply install studs in place of on the holes 
and install your adapter that installs the mechanical fan. But for the electric fan, we like the nose cone. It simply installs just like that. Start all the bolts. Again, using Loctite. Run them in. That's it. You have a complete front of the engine installed. You're going to run one belt between the crank pulley, the water pump pulley, and the power steering. And a second belt is going to run between the crank pulley, the water pump, and your alternator and you have a completed installation.